So today we're gonna to be talking about how to get an ITIN for PayPal. Hey everyone, this is Sina Bonabi here from EIN Express. I'm an IRS certified acceptance agent and I'm both trained and authorized by the IRS to help non-US citizens all over the world, just like you, to successfully get their EINs and ITINs for them. We've assisted over 2,240 uh, non-US citizens to get their EINs and ITINs, and we'd love to help you get yours as well too. So today we're gonna be talking about a topic that is popular in the foreign entrepreneur world who are non-US citizens. Um, I want to basically break down this response into two parts. Um, the first part is I want to discuss what I've been seeing happening um, with a lot of uh, our clients or people who have been um, basically emailing me with inquiries about this. Um, I'm seeing very commonly that it doesn't happen all the time, but it happens sometimes with, with, with these uh, clients who are um, trying to open up accounts with PayPal. What happens is they're able to, let's say for example, a foreign entrepreneur, non-US citizen, doesn't have an ITIN, but they've registered like a business in the US, like an LLC. Um, I've seen them be able to open up business uh, merchant accounts with PayPal um, without the ITIN, and they start going about conducting and collecting payments in this payment gateway. Um, but then eventually down the line, PayPal puts a pause or they freeze their merchant account. Um, and then they request an ITIN. And now I know why they do this, but I, I'm, I've, I've been seeing this happen a lot. The reason why PayPal is doing this is, or they, they did this for certain people, I guess, and then now why are they requesting ITIN is because um, after they open the merchant account for the client, uh, once the client hit a certain threshold or a limit of, I guess, uh, revenue generated into the account, then uh, by rule, you know, PayPal has to obviously, you know, report this uh, for tax reporting purposes to IRS. So when that, uh, when that happens, they must obtain the ITIN from the client for their tax reporting purposes. And so that's why they're pausing the client's merchant account or they're freezing it and they're requesting the ITIN and they won't let them move forward without doing so. Um, so I've, uh, it doesn't happen to everybody, but I have been seeing this happen a lot recently in over the last year or so. Um, so now I always tell people to cover your bases, get your ITIN, so that way you can comply with all the requirements. Uh, which brings me to my next part. Um, when you, if you want to get an ITIN to comply with PayPal, so PayPal, you know, they require different things to open up the merchant account. Let's say for business, uh, you know, um, for business, you know, foreign entrepreneurs. Um, that in addition to obviously requiring like business documentation, um, the EIN documentation, which is the uh, employer identification number, it's the tax ID specifically for the business. They also require the ITIN as well. And it doesn't just stop there. Um, I, PayPal also has additional information and documentation that they require too, uh, uh, in addition to the ones I just mentioned. So you really wanna make sure, and I strongly recommend this, uh, contact PayPal's customer service department um, and make sure that you really get a list of all the information and documentation they require in order to open up this merchant account so you're not missing anything. Um, I'm also hearing from people that, oh, PayPal doesn't accept the ITIN. Uh, that's not true. Uh, I know some time back, um, it was just listed as like on the website when you were trying to open up an account, just provide your SSN and didn't even say ITIN. Um, but I think that's changed now recently. Um, but even if it hasn't, um, I know for a fact that PayPal does accept the ITIN. Um, if you wanna know how to go, out, go about using your ITIN in place of the SSN, um, contact their customer service department. They'll walk you through the steps on how you can use your ITIN in place of the SSN requirement. Um, so I hope this response, this video was um, helpful um, to a lot of you out there, especially the foreign entrepreneurs. Um, and if you guys, Feel like you're in this situation please go ahead and contact me email me um, i handle this type of case every day all day um, and know that i can you know successfully help you get your i10 from the irs i'd love to help you um, so don't don't hesitate to contact us um, if you guys have any questions or comments go ahead and post them below and when you are ready to start your i10 application go ahead and click the link below as well too i look forward to work with you guys soon take care all the best